Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can generate a histogram in SPSS using the chart builder. In the menu bar click on graphs and then choose chart builder. You might get a mes uh, message about measurement levels, assuming you've set them all correct, simply click on OK. Now in the chart builder, first hit reset if you've used this before, and then from the gallery choose the histogram option. Click on the simple histogram and drag it to the chart preview. Then select uh, from which measurement, you, from which variable you actually want to see the histogram. In this case, I choose the maximum of grades. Now I could click on OK, uh, but I just wanted to show a few other options that are in those element properties. If you don't see that, click on element properties. And here at statistics, you can see that you can choose histogram, but you can also change it to histogram percent. I'll leave it at histogram for now and show you a different way of actually adding the percentages later on. It doesn't really matter much which method you use. The same goes for the number of bins. If you click on set parameters, you can actually choose the bin sizes either by automatic or custom and then add a number of intervals or choose for an, a specified interval width. In this case, I'm going to leave it at automatic, continue. I don't have to apply anything because I haven't really changed anything. Click on OK and now in the output we get our histogram. Now the alternative way of still adding the percentages when changing the bin width is actually in the chart editor. You can double click on the histogram to open up the chart editor and from here click on anywhere on the histogram so that all the bins are actually selected. and Automatically in the properties window you actually get the binning option. Then here again we can say either automatic or choose custom and enter for example a number of intervals. So let's say we want six intervals and if we now click on apply it actually shows now one, two, three, four, five, six intervals. You can also change the color of course uh, so for example the fill color let's make it blue and click on apply and at variables you can actually change the percent here and say on the y-axis click on apply and now actually it has changed to percentages so that's an alternative way of actually getting a relative histogram uh, and an alternative way of showing uh, changing the number of bins you can simply close the chart editor and the changes will uh, come in the output. You can then save this output separately. 